each and every one of you that this is a real opportunity for you to allay an unprecedented level of fear, mistrust, upset, and quite frankly, pure fury that this proposal has engendered in a population who, given recent and current events, look naturally to their elected officials for support. What concerns me and the thousands that have signed this petition is the fact that none of the councillors present here today have a mandate for imposing a congestion charge. Liberal Democrats and Labour, knowing this was in the pipeline, for some peculiar reason, all failed to mention it at the last election. And yet, here they are now, united in pushing this monstrosity forward. If I may, I would like to direct my question directly to you, Councillor Alex Beckett. You sit here as the chair of the Highways Committee, a position of importance and authority granted to you by the people. I wonder if those that put you in that seat knew about the plans you now so fervently support. My question is this, and rather like the referendum itself, I'm looking for a simple yes or no. In securing this role, did you personally include the proposal of a congestion charge in your manifesto? Councillor Beckett. Thank you, Chair. And firstly, thank you, Mr. Cormier, for your question. Um, I know we might not necessarily agree, but it's great to see residents engage and challenge. None of this is easy. There are difficult decisions you made all around, but I'm really pleased to see that you are actually here today and able to bring your views. That's really important for all of us. Thank you. The GCP, as we all know, has carried out one of the biggest and most wide ranging consultations in its history. It's led to over 24,000 responses. It deliberately asked a range of open and closed questions to ask people whether they supported the scheme, which elements they did support and which elements they didn't support, what might be what they might like to see done differently or what alternatives they propose. This was intended to provide a richer and more nuanced feedback style than a simple yes or no. I do not believe this is a simple yes or no answer for any of this. This is a complex decision that requires complex analysis. All of us need to take a look at what the feedback to the consultation says, look at any amendments that the GCP might bring and what scheme might be brought forwards before we decide on what needs to happen. Thank you. Do you have a supplementary question? Oh, uh, yes. Right, so that's a clear no, then. Um, so here's the thing. It's obviously clear that the proposal of a congestion charge was not in your manifesto. So why is it subject to your party's whip? It strikes me that you do not have the right to make a decision on the matter in that case. So do you not agree that it would be moral, decent and democratic of you to either stand for election on this issue to determine whether or not you have our support or save everybody's time by granting us a referendum today. Thank you, again, Mr. Boy, and thank you to everyone else. I know this does invoke an awful lot of passion on everyone. I, for one, can assure you that I have not been whipped on this issue. Nobody has told me to vote one way or the other, and I very much intend to use my own moral compass and all the evidence in front of me before I make any decision on any final scheme that is passed. Now, we owe it to the 28,000 people that replied to look through those responses. We owe it to them all. We really do. To be able to set that aside would be the least democratic thing that we ever did as a council. We owe it to them. The results of the consultation will be included in a final report and the GCP is scheduled for June 2023. Now, as you know, the proposals as they currently stand do not have any form of charging being implemented until 2028. There is a long time to go before this. There will be further elections for all of this. There will be many, many chances for people to have their say and to have their voices heard. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Beckett. Next up is Councillor Lentil. You have two minutes to ask your questions, and if you choose one minute for a supplementary question,